in this video, I'll be making a scratch game in one minute versus one day. Believe me, the ending is crazy, so let's go. One minute, let's go. Okay, so the first, let's delete him. Let's go paint a little player, dude. Oh, yeah, we could probably zoom in. Go like that. Go like boom. Oh, God. Boom. That's his gun. Why does it look like a beak? Oh, no. Yep. Okay. He looks good. Yeah, okay. I can't. Okay. Uh, if, uh what the, where, where is it? Key, what, it's W, A, S, D, W, W, change Y, S, where's the S? Okay, then we gotta duplicate this a couple more times. D and A, that's at the top. D, oh no, that's like the right. And then A, come on. Oh, but that's not A. Jesus, come on. Dude, dude. Oh my, can I make him have a gun at least? Hello? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Come on. Okay, I think we did it. Okay, you can shut up. I get it. This is the one minute game. Yes, it's a masterpiece. Wow, look, 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 look at the gun. Look at the player. Yeah, he's quick as hell, bro. Yeah, he's shooting like air right now. You probably can't tell. It's like a ghost bullet. They'll never see him coming. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, next game. So 24 hours, let's begin. All right, so we can delete Scratchy, but I can't make the art in here. I want it to be pixel art. So now we're in a sprite where we can make our pixel art and I'll be back when I'm finished. So here we have our guy in our animation. I don't know about you, but this guy looks kind of familiar. Yeah, let's not worry about that too much. So let's export it into Scratch. And now this is when he's facing the right. So I'm going to do R, R, and I'll be back when I'm finished making the left. And so now we have our animation here and our animation here. I'm going to name him to player, go back to the code. And so now I can code the movement. Great I clicked forever. If key space W, then I'm going to make speed x speed y for all their set both these guys to zero on begin and if w change y by we'll go like three and then do right to click duplicate if s negative three and i'm going to set y speed to times 0 0.75 itself y speed and then just change y by y speed so now if we go up here and press click play let me just put him to zero zero real quick there we go we can see that he moves up and down really smoothly maybe a little bit too smooth i'll do like 0 0.6 and if we go like this boom perfect now i can just get rid of these and i'll copy the same thing for the horizontal x speed now that we're all done that we can go back here and whoa that's cool we can got him moving around i think he's a little bit slow so i'll go like four four negative four negative four and to keep everything organized i'm gonna make player speed and player friction i'm gonna set player speed and i'm gonna set player friction to 0 0.6 and four so if i do i can get rid of both of these player speed can go here player speed can go here and then i have to do a negative player speed because it's negative four and then put the friction in for this it's just so i can change the player speed and everything Thing, a little bit easier. So now if I go back in here, now it still works the same. Beautiful. But what about the animations? This is important. This is what I'm going to be using here for the animation. I'm going to change costume by one. You'll see why that's going to be the speed of the animation. And I can do when grip clicked forever. If I'm going to grab the mouse X, if mouse X is greater than zero, it's going to switch to costume. It's going to start at one and then it's going to rotate down to two. Do I know what this all is? No. Am I going to explain it? No. So if I do this, he's on my right. We can see that he plays the animation and it's really fast. So I think I'll turn down to like 0 0.25 or I'll do like 0 0.1 beautiful so it's just gonna cycle through one two one two one and if i do else so that means if it's on the left it's gonna go to start at three and just mod two and so it's gonna be working wherever your mouse is essentially because it's gonna be a shooter type of game and so and so now i'm gonna make a crosshair this is our crosshair file export we can drag that in here boom and we can send the 200 just like our character and when gratefully clicked forever go to mouse pointer and so now it's gonna look like a little bit more sense if our characters look in this way cool but are you ready for this three two one boom this thing am i gonna I explain it no no i'm not but essentially it smooths out the movement so it just looks a lot cleaner than before pretty cool and now i'm gonna add a little detail of just rotating it i think this looks really cool so let me just finish all the animations just like boom. Now we can see we have animations for every single thing, I guess. Yeah, pretty cool. I don't know, it looks pretty good. Also made like different eyes, so now they like look at me. Pretty cool. Now little bro looks happy. Let's go. Now we need to give him his gun, which it would make sense for it to be white. So let's make it white. And so ready. Boom. Now we have this really cool looking gun and we can see it switched from side to side and it looks awesome. Yeah, we can also see if I don't move it, it goes up and down a little bit, which is really nice. Good detail. Now we're just one more step closer to finishing the game, which is the bullet. So let's just do that real quick. Paint bullet, zoom in all the way, convert to bitmap, make a bullet. Yeah, that looks like a bullet. Zoom out. Wait, where the heck is the middle at? Oh, right there it is. Change it to 200, name it bullet and when grip clicked, hide and forever. If mouse down, then create a clone of myself. Wait, 0.1 sec. I'm actually going to drag this into the gun. Get rid of that here for a clone of bullet and then do move negative five steps you'll see why in a second go back to the bullet when i start as a clone also need to do forever hide and hide and remove the hide there and i can do go to gun repeat until touch an edge move 10 steps then delete itself and we gotta make sure he shows so i think that is it and i think i should do point in direction gun direction i think that could be a good a good add-on and so let's see how that works okay that's looking pretty good but i think i need to make it up a little bit because it's kind of off something like that now if i go back we can see that yep it looks perfect 
except for the bottom one though i'm going to copy that and where do i move it do i move it up no i move it oh damn what the hell no i move it down like that i think that should be good perfect and so i'm gonna do grab this in here change it to bullet bullet two i'm gonna name it bullet r bullet l for right and left and then i can just put that in there beforehand and i can get rid of this so basically if the direction is less than zero on this side it's gonna switch to the right bullet and if it's on, if it's not on the left side it's gonna change to the right and so we could see that in action maybe we won't because it has to be x position right no it's not i'm actually dumb as hell oh maybe i'm not dumb i just had to change these two around my bad and so now we have this guy how cool doesn't this look super cool and now one of our last steps is to make the enemy so let's go do that So now that I have the slime animations, I can begin coding their AI. So very simply, since it's just a test, I'm not going to make clones. I'm going to do one click, 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 go to zero, 100 at the start, and repeat until point towards player. Wait a second. I also have to start jump. And then we're going to do push to jump to wait 0 0.1 seconds. And instead of that, I'm going to do next. And I'm going to repeat that, I believe, six more times. Well, I guess, yeah, six. So let's just see what that looks like. Oh, what the freaks? That rotation style to don't rotate. So we can see this guy jumping towards us. Pretty simple and cool. He almost looks like a rock. Yeah, he's done. Definitely just a run. So now I could just take all this, do create clone of myself. I don't know, I could like repeat that like I don't know three times. And then I could do when I start as a clone, but I'm gonna have to do hide and then show. And I could just do go to random position. There we go. We have our slimes that kind of look like a run. As we can see, they're gonna spawn randomly. This is not the finished game, trust me. But yeah, they look pretty cool. And now I just created a shadow for the player, which I think it adds like a pretty cool amount of detail. Damn, this looks so cool. Oh my god. But now I think we should add some damage and some HP for our player. Let me just quickly finish everything I need to do to finish the game. Let's go. So I changed the enemy to green, and I also made the start menu with the start button and the logo. Right after that, I imported it into Scratch, and it actually looks pretty good. Wow. Same with the enemies. They look so sick. I then worked on a score counter to see how many enemies you killed, and I added a little bit of sound effects. I then thought the game was getting kind of boring, so I decided to add another gun that you could use to kill the enemies. I first started off with a katana and then made a shotgun. And I will say that these took forever, and no, the sword does not look the greatest animation, but it's whatever. I then had to model a background because I was long overdue, and this took forever, but it looks amazing. And then I thought to myself, well, only having one enemy is kind of lame, so I made this really big enemy, and then this really small but fast enemy. With that being said, I only need a few things to polish up the game, so I made a you die screen and i think we can call this game finished with me working on the project on and off throughout the day we completed it in 24 hours now if you want to learn programming yourself there's a free and easy way to do so thanks to today's sponsor brilliant brilliant has thousands of lessons from hard foundational math to easy computer science and programming with tons of new lessons added every month with their interactive learning it is so much easier to understand the problem at hand while you can master science math and computer programming just from using their course only 15 minutes a day my personal favorite is csm programming because code has been one of the loves of my life. Learning from observation is proven to be the best way to learn rather than letting your boring math teacher yap for an hour and 15 minutes a day. If Brilliant sounds like it's for you, try everything Brilliant has to offer for a full free 30 days. Visit brilliant.org slash zonkscratch or click on the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Thanks again for Brilliant sponsoring this video. Now back to the challenge. Without further ado, I present to you Shooter. By the way, if you want to play this game for yourself, link in the description. And if you made it this far, you may as well like and subscribe. Thank you.